Hello everybody, it's Crafty Glamper 77. Um, it's Tuesday the 9th. I was supposed to get this in yesterday. It's one of two, um, but it didn't come in until today. They usually give you that $5 credit when it doesn't come by the date within 24 hours. So I should be getting that. They haven't applied it yet. Um, I'll go ahead and get started just because there's 31. No, I forget how many there is. 29 items maybe. 28 or 29 then the others are coming but I also have like three or four small random ones coming so the second part of this I think I'll just put with that just to make it a bigger haul um I went ahead and did you guys down did my video downstairs today in the kitchen it's cooler down here it's getting a little bit warmer upstairs and we don't have the air on yet so I just went ahead and did it somewhere different um Harley is here she likes to be with me when Say hi, baby. I got her up in a chair. So she's not by herself. Sorry, it just kind of went everywhere, didn't it? It's just all loose today. My little ring light seems like it's just kind of wiggles around. I do love this candle warmer that I got. I think I paid 17 something and probably got price adjustments. Love it, you can smell the candle. It has three settings. It came with two bulbs, one was broke, but that's okay. Um, has a timer. I think it's two, four, six hours or something like that. And, or you can just plug it in and just shut it off when you're ready. But I absolutely love that. It works great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will say this is the first time that it did have a hole in the bag and this thing was going through it. I scrolled through every order plus this one. I have nothing that this should even be. This is usually poster stuff. Um, I didn't order a single poster, so I don't know what this is. I even double, triple checked. There is nothing on there. My dice, and when it, it'll show you when it splits an order, what's coming in that package. I got some dice. It was just a fun drinking game. We have our truck show in Indy every September and a bunch of us go and, um, yeah, well, on another haul, I got some, the Solo Copes cups but they were little minis and um they were green so i got that for it but i got these dice and you roll them they weren't much under a couple of dollars five dice i think you roll them and it'll tell you to take a shot oldest person takes one youngest person takes one um double just whatever just a fun game well my dice didn't come i got makeup um aaron on hey everybody uses this um, when she has hot flashes or just anything like that, that just something that triggers her skin to get all red or maybe it's shiny or whatever. It's in a blue pack and I can't think of the name of it because I'm recording off my phone. But that didn't come. It's not in either order. And then I got more of those magnetic picture frames to go on my refrigerator because I absolutely love them. I kept four of the six pack and then I put two pictures in for Davy's mom. So she's got them on her fridge. So I wanted to get more. Those didn't come and they're not in the second part coming. Neither is the dice and neither is the makeup. There's only like five things coming in it. So, um, that was kind of a bummer. And like I said, that's never happened. I always get everything. This is really the first time I've not gotten something and got something that is not part of my order. Okay, I've talked for three minutes, so we'll just get going. Um, I'll go ahead and just do my thumbnail real quick here and turn my bag around i'm still not getting i've watched random videos people are getting the pretty little timu bags the not frosty little ones that zip i still get the ugly bags but um i priced everything because of my camera problem the no storage i loved opening it with you guys and being surprised and being able to see it for the first time with you but it just takes me longer that way but um so, I got a great big one, and I marked everything and couldn't, I don't know how they did, um, couldn't get this back in there. Well, actually, I can because it feels smush. Um, I may have priced everything, but I didn't, I didn't open, like, the clothes or anything like that. This is a cool haul. I, I have, like, a good variety in here, and I have some other stuff, random things coming in my my ones that are still out there. This right here, I think I showed it on my 
Ulta TJ Maxx or whatever Ulta Hobby Lobby haul. I don't know what it was. Um, but my husband bought me, it's one of those, I don't know if you say it, Lange, Laneige. I don't know how you say that brand, but it looks like a brush, but it's a dryer and I love it. But I don't want to, when I go for traveling or take it camping, I don't want to pack it and get the bristles smashed. So I got this and they do come in different colors. There is a bit of an overhang because it was smashed in the bag, but we'll see if it goes ahead and shuts okay. It looks like it will. Um, I love the gray and pink. They had two other kinds too. Close is fine. It's got the two zippers. It's a nice hard case, but that's going to work perfect. And if I would have planned ahead, I would have brought my thing down here and stuck it in there. But go figure, I didn't plan ahead. I'm even in the kitchen and I didn't scoot the trash can over close to me. So, you know, um, it's got a little handle so you can carry it, but it is very, very nice made. I don't think it had any extra compartments in it. Yes, it did. I, I fib. If you wear hair clips or want to put your comb or just whatever else that you have there. It's weird how they start that in the middle. Then you go over it. Just, I don't know. But yeah, so that's very nice. Everything opens and zips fine. So even though it was smashed, it closes perfect. And I paid $9.48 for that, but it was worth it because I can't remember. I keep thinking that hair thingy got me was a hundred or over i don't remember but definitely worth paying a few dollars to get something to keep it in shape so i really like that did anybody watch the eclipse yesterday oh my gosh it was so stinking cool i was i was so excited i sat back there uh hubby was working he came in came home enough long enough for it to happen then he went back to work but i sat in behind the house by the pond and until i got there and it was so cool. You're wearing your glasses and you're looking up and you know, it's taking forever because we're in Indiana and a bunch of other places too. We were in the perfect line for it, but it was going really, really slow. And then all of a sudden when you got that little sliver, it's just like it went choo, really fast. It turned like to a little orangey burning little ember kind of look color and then it was gone. And it was so awesome. The temperature dropped some. The birds and everything were still going crazy and chirping out there. But I actually, we don't normally hear the frogs and stuff a whole lot to lurk, to lurk the evening, like the evening. But they were carrying on back there like it totally messed them up. And they're just having a good old time back there in the pond like it's 10 o'clock at night or 6 in the evening, whatever. But yes, I thought that was so awesome. I'm so glad I got to see it. The school provided us with glasses, all the staff and the students, so that was cool. Where do you guys live, and did you guys get to see it or anything? Um, it's just, I don't know. It's so cool. They say it happens every 100 years, but some people are playing down the hype, saying, oh, we've had them before, just years ago. There's supposed to be another one in 20 years. I don't know. I'm just glad I was able to witness it, so it was just amazing, but okay. I'll get going, but yeah, just kind of let me know where are you guys at, and did you get to see it? Did you guys travel anywhere? We were there. It was on the news and little things on Facebook. There were people from other countries, other states traveled in to see it. Our campgrounds were full. Cincinnati and Indianapolis, like that radius all the way around, they said the, um, the hotels were full. So it's just like, wow, it really brought it made it an, a major event. Um, there was stuff going on everywhere, but like fun stuff, little crafty fairs and all that. I don't know. I'm kind of glad it's spring and all this stuff's going on, but we've had rain, 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 rain yesterday or was it yesterday what happened? Yeah. Yesterday, nothing. Perfect, beautiful day, clear sky. And it's, oh, I forgot to reset that microwave, but it's 2.46 and um it's supposed to start raining around 3 3 30. it's supposed to rain every day this week but i just thought that was pretty awesome too the weather is like it knew to cooperate but i don't know maybe some scientific weird way that eclipse mess was with mother nature too who knows okay we'll get on with it why did i not price this i think this was six something i don't know i priced everything but for somehow i skipped over this one 
Um, I've said before, the and I'm starting to get larges because I'm on my weight loss journey and the extra larges, sometimes they're good, but sometimes they're just too big. But the perfect mix on the material that I like personally, doesn't mean everybody will, is 60 poly, 35 rayon, and five spandex. It's really nice, soft, doesn't feel like, um, I don't know, that weird polyester. They have a nice 100% polyester, it doesn't feel bad, then there's other polyester, it just feels yucky. But it's really nice. Um, I love this one, and that's my favorite mix. And anytime I find a shirt I like, I've actually not got some before because I didn't like the mix. But if I, it's this, I get it. It says, tease it to Jesus and spray it, and spray it like hell. And it's Dolly. And it's gray. Most of my t-shirts and even my sweatshirts are gray. I like pink too, but gray seems to be, it's like a safe color that goes with everything. You know, no matter what your bottoms are. But I thought that was so cute. I love it. It's not real plasticky. A lot of times you can hear it, and it's a lot more than that. This is actually really soft and doesn't feel like plastic. So I still, to this day, I turn my stuff inside out and I hang it to dry. I really do. I don't want it. I don't want it to start cracking and all that. But this is more like a um, an iron-on transfer. It's not a sublimation. It's direct to film, I think is how Carol Sue says hers, says it. She, if you guys don't watch her, you really should. She does crafts. She's got a cute little shopping back where she does all kinds of stuff. And she knows what she's talking about on this. I start talking about materials and things like that. And I'm like, I don't, I, I don't know. It feels like this, but yeah, this is a nice one. But if you haven't checked her out, it's Carol Sue Designs, I think. Jump over there and watch hers she's just a just a little thing a little country bumpkin but um she's fun to watch she's you can she's got a nice personality there's there's just a i don't know just some people you really enjoy watching because they just give you that good vibe like they're just a good person you get that from her but um and she's honest with all of her reviews so this is a large also and Dolly was a large, if I didn't tell you. This feels more cottony. 60 poly and 35 rayon and 5 elastane. That one was smoother and kind of had that poly smooth, really nice feel. This feels more like cotton, but um, seems kind of short too. But the front has just got that. And it's a direct-to-film also. Carol Sue, if I have that wrong, let me know. Sublimation is when you... Um, print them off and they've got the ink on there and the higher the rayon the better that goes into the material but um this is that it's not plasticky it's actually really nice like the dolly one but I think this is really cute I love it and the funny thing is I can't stand beer I don't like the smell of beer I will have a drink um and once here we go that truck show I have a good time I'll just put it that way but um I like more of girly drinks like Oh, gosh, can't think of anything now. Just like my Jack Daniels Fruit Punch and the Smirnoffs in the bottles. And um, I don't know. I like girly drinks like that. I just can't drink beer. I don't like hard whiskey, stuff like that. It's got to be kind of more sweet. <laughs> but um, This, you guys, I haven't got a free item in forever. And like I said, I haven't opened any of these clothes. I just priced them. I got a medium in it because I was reading the reviews. I hope I don't regret it because um, I am kind of chesty and I still got a, a booty. So I get down to where I need to be. $8.48 is what it costs, but I got this free and I really like the material. I love that material. I thought this would be cute with boots. Um, you literally... It, you just put your arms in it right through here so it's like this and it's got the little cinch stretchy neck and it is got the cinched waist and then goes down like this let me hold it up to me real fast it goes just a little bit past my knees because I am short if you're taller actually goes maybe this much above my knee um, if you're taller it'll be shorter 
and then it's got these little strings where you tie it in the back but yeah I thought this was a really cute dress I really like that and it goes down just a smidge in the back not very far you can see how the cut is very pretty love it this is definitely polyester but it's a nice soft summer dress polyester feel it's not ooky 100 percent so there's that and i did a boo-boo and i ordered two johnny cash tanks and they're from two different sellers so one i paid 79 7.99 i got a price adjustment and like i said i read all my reviews i have found stuff before and then when i read it it says 100 percent poly or 95 this five rayon i won't get it um just because i don't want to take that chance that it's a good polyester versus the icky polyester this is 100 percent so let me look at this one because so i wonder if i had this in my cart and then found another one and went on there and read the read what it was made of and then saw that one was 100 percent meant to take it out i don't know 60 po 60 poly 35 rayon and five spandex this is probably the one I wanted, and I didn't take this out of my cart. But it's just this tank top here. It's the Johnny Cash. Man in Black. Nashville. I can't read it all backwards. Outlaw Music. Man in Black, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, the writing is already to look like that. Like it's kind of cracked already. Um... It's got this is the way the back looks your arms are out here and the back goes in so yeah I really like that um, this other one actually I love that I guess for not wanting to um, it doesn't feel bad this actually ended up being a very nice polyester so I guess and this one's longer same tank top different sellers but same size they're both i get the tanks in a medium um but this one's longer and it feels really nice is the picture the same yeah picture's identical the writing is the crackled look but i'll probably just go ahead and keep it and um that was on me anyway i just should have took it out of my car i probably thought i did and didn't okay this is the first shirt or clothing I've got that's had the little tape that's supposed to take the moisture out. Um, this one here, these men in black, $7.99, I got a price adjustment. The other one's $7.96 and I had two price adjustments. This shirt was $6.98 and I got a price adjustment. <laughs> Funny, none of those other shirts had anything and this one ended up having two. Um, this is really little. I wish I had got an extra large. And I didn't look at this one very good. See, I'm sitting here telling you guys that. And now I'm making a fibber out of myself. Because now this shirt is 96 poly and 4 elastane. And it doesn't feel bad. It's actually really nice and smooth. But I really, I, I promise to you guys, I do check for that. And I don't normally get anything that's not the three mix. Poly, rayon, and whatever else I said elastane well here's this and it's kind of short I got it in brown just because I'm always getting gray white pink black usually gray but I went ahead and got it in brown I also thought with it being westerny it kind of popped off really nice the material this one you can really tell a difference and you can hear it that is very plasticky feeling so Hmm. Last night we let the liquor talk. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm not a huge fan of this. And I got it, like I said, in a large, but I'll wear it. I don't like. And even when it's like that, it even lays funny because it's such a hard plastic. It's like it won't lay down perfect when you want it to in half sticks up oh well that was on me because i did not pay attention oh yes 
I can't wait to get these out and see if they fit. I paid $13.59 for these. Thought they were so cute. They put them each in a little, each shoe in a little cloth thin sack thing. Um, they feel really nice and cushy. I mean, they've got this thickness to them. I don't know. I'm not into skulls or anything like that. Never have been. But I thought these were cute. Cute. And I got... It's a 37, which I think the size ends up being 9.3 or 9.5 on the inches. Um, it's a 7 or a 7.5. And, and I'm not sure what I got. But yes, I love these, you guys. They're nice and soft. See how nice they bend? And then they've got this little fuzzy on the outside there. And I've got wide feet. So this is really nice. Like right here to help you stretch if it is a tight fit. It's got that spandexy and it's on both sides. So it'll stretch and give a little bit with your foot. Okay. I'm gonna see first with socks. I honestly probably won't wear these with socks. No, I already don't like trying to put it on with a sock. My hey dudes, I don't wear them with socks. Not even no shows. Oh my gosh, they fit perfect. Yes, score. I don't know if I can get my leg up here, but they fit awesome. And they are very cushy. These feel great. Okay, I'm gonna put on the other one. I'll stand here barefoot in my socks. So, I'm just gonna go ahead. So, $13.59, I did get a price adjustment. Both shoes. Oh my gosh, you guys are so comfortable. I've had these pair of shoes. I don't know why this makes me think of Ashton's Beauty if that's another one you don't watch she's fun to watch too um, she's got a variety of pets she's got cats dogs have I heard her talk about a snake she's got a rat um, but they're she's totally cool and um, she's fun to watch she's honest with her reviews she's got a beautiful family sometimes her hubby helps her and sometimes her daughter's in it but she's a lot of fun to watch too, so if you haven't. But anyway, I went around my point. This looks like something that Ashley, I don't know, if, I guess that's her name, but Ashton's Beauty, this looks like something she would wear. I don't know about her daughter, but she might wear them too, but I don't know. Even the colors, it just looks like something she would wear. Um, I'm normally a seven and a half, and I'm pretty sure that's what I got these in. Again, these just say 37 white pink. Okay, so if you're interested and you check those out, I will put the links on there if it lets me. Timu is sometimes so difficult, it won't let me just share my link to my order with all the items. And it takes forever to sit there and do it one by one and type in the description. So if there's something in here you guys like, let me know for sure. And, um, yeah, I'll put, I'll comment back with the link. Um, this right here, I was just curious. Has anybody out there tried these? It's supposed to be a defrosting tray. And I read the reviews and they all looked really good. This, sorry, my ring light's getting it, but you put your meat on there and it falls out. There was different sizes. I think I got the biggest. I paid $7.96 and got a price adjustment. It says it's the safest way to defrost meat or frozen food quickly and naturally. It's easy to clean and dishwasher safe. Yay. No need to use microwave, electricity, chemicals, or hot water. It defrosts frozen food in minutes, even when frozen rock solid. You hand wash. It says hand wash is recommended under 40 degrees C. I don't know what that means. Why would it tell you to do that if it's dishwasher safe? It gets do not use wire brushes or steel wool to clean surface i don't know the reviews were good there's one guy or woman on there that said that they bought one took it over their sons or their daughters or something forgot it and left it over there and they used it all the time so they just went ahead and let them keep it and got them another one i can't get this open there we go 
So I thought, and that wasn't the only review. There was a bunch of them. They were all good. So I thought, I'm going to give her a try. Sometimes it worked like today. I laid a hamburger out on my counter. I just put it on something and laid on the counter. But it's got these little lines in there too. I think maybe you can see that. Um, but yeah, I got the large. I wish it said the size. What are you doing, Harley, baby? Yeah, I got the large, but it doesn't say. He's a good girl, baby. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm curious. I can't wait to try that. I got me some iron-ons, of course. $1.79. And this one, it is camping time, you guys. Heck, yeah. We haven't camped yet, but there was no way we could camp this past weekend because of all the travel travelers coming in, the people for the eclipse. It says, what happens around the campfire stays around the campfire. But I thought that was cute. So I got that. And yes, it's crinkly and bent. I actually took my pictures, marked it that it just, not really so much damaged, but I would mark something and then you write that description. And I've always gotten a refund on the ones I wasn't happy with. Um, that one's a little junky. I've had worse. But Tina's is usually pretty good at that. Drinks well with others. I was going to make me a shirt for the truck show and put this on it. It's just a little one. And it's pretty creased up too. This was $1.48 with a price adjustment. You can see, I don't know how crinkled it is. All these lines right in here are all because it was bent. And yeah, that doesn't go to my shirt, but if the creases are there, that means it's gonna be in the writing too. But they normally print okay, it's just the fact. They, they should package these better. Are you hearing something, Har? I didn't see his truck go by. You can tell it's getting cloudy and gonna rain. It looks different outside. The sun's kind of peeking through, but it's got that weird look to it out there. Um, this one is $1.29. It says, I must warn you, my inner child is a mean little poop. My grandbabies watch this fall, so I'm not going to sit there and say the word. Even though I guess they can read too, but oh well. Okay, I don't know how to go around it. But it says, I must warn you, my inner child is a mean little poop. It's got the little heart on there. But I thought that would be cute. I almost thought about making me a heart off my cricket put it on the front and then having this on the back of my shirt or sweatshirt, whatever I decide to put it on. So, um, my heat transfers, they've all honestly done good. There was one and I don't remember, but out of all of them that I've done, that's a really good average. Um, it wouldn't set right. I had to keep putting my heat press down on it. It kept wanting to peel up and um, finally it stayed. I actually used my little one. I took it off the heat press. I did my little one and was pressing around the corners where it kept wanting to come up and then it stayed. But I, it was being a bugger. I really had a time with it. Okay. I got these pajamas in a couple of hauls ago. I think I got a large or an extra large. I don't remember, but I'm 4'11", so they were very long but so comfortable, so comfortable. Even the top was biggie, was biggie, <laughs> was big on me. Don't know where that come from, but I paid $6.97. I got two price adjustments. I think it ended up being five something, but um, these are probably still gonna be long. It's just because they are, but they're not as bad since I guess size down. I went one or two sizes down. These are a medium. They're 97 poly, three elastane. But I love it, and they are so soft, you guys. These are comfortable pajamas. Kid you not. Love them, love them. I like how the bottom of, bottoms of them are, but they're really cute. And then the top is short sleeve, and it bees down just a little bit, and you got your buttons there. There's one little pocket on your left. But yeah, this one's gonna fit me much better than my other one. The other one just swallowed me, length and everything. So I'm really excited about that. And that's really nice and soft, you guys. But for $7, not even $7 and getting two price adjustments, I think made it 580 something. 
um, is really a good deal, really a good deal. This was 370, no price adjustment. I got this for the camper because we're taking the one from here in the house. Probably wouldn't hurt to get another one. But we're always going back and forth, taking stuff from the house to the camper on little things like this. Now I'll just leave this one there. It just comes in this little box. It's one of those plugs, but you can put your, charge your phone and stuff there. And then you've got your regular outlet. And it does, has a little protective over it, but protector. But 374, it's not bad. Comes with little instructions in there. I don't know why you need instructions to plug but two AC outlets, two USB ports. So that's pretty good for that price. Um, I got a couple more, oops, sorry, a couple more um, iron-ons. Sunday, Saturday was my daughter's birthday. She is 29, April 6th, she turned 29. So she wanted to see the King Kong movie, which we love stuff like that. The movie was awesome, turned out great. Sometimes you just gotta wonder, okay, you all gotta stop because the more they make, they're usually not as good. These King Kongs, they've done three now. They're awesome. But um, yeah, we went and seen that. We ate at the Cheesecake Factory. She has something going on this coming weekend that she needed an outfit for. So we went to Buckles and just different places and looked around, but it was fun. She came home, it was late. So she went ahead and stayed the night. Um, I love it when she stays over. And then yesterday, I called my mom during, well, the eclipse was starting, but it wasn't full yet, a total eclipse. So I called mom, didn't reach her, but I talked to her later yesterday evening. So it was good to talk to her because they didn't see it, but um, we're going down there the end of June, 1st of July. We're going to go to Gatlinburg. No, we're going to Pigeon Forge, staying three days and two nights. Old Mill is our favorite restaurant. If you guys ever go to Pigeon Forge, make sure you eat there. Food's amazing. It's like a way glorified Cracker Barrel or any place that's just got home food. It is so good. It's like a Bob Evans Cracker Barrel. I don't know what, all in one. It's really good. Um, and then we're, all spend, we're splitting our trip in half. It'll take a few hours to get there and then a few hours to get to Mom's when we leave from there. So... Okay, sorry, I kind of got in left field. Hi, Mom, love you. She watches these hauls too, so I want to give a shout out to my mom. Can't wait to see her. Time flies, we'll be there before we know it. So, welcome to camp, quit your bitching. If you're not a happy camper, take a hike. I like that. I thought it was cute. Welcome to camp, quit your biatching. If you're not a happy camper, take a hike. So yeah, there's that. This one's nicely bent in half and creased as well, but I've had worse. Um, $1.59 is what that one was. And then this one's cute. I didn't get a refund on this one or that one. I don't normally get a whole lot of refunds on iron-ons just because they're already so low priced. Um, if you guys are my regular watchers, thank you so much for watching with me again. If you're new here, hello, and thank you for jumping on. I hope you enjoy the haul, and I hope there's something in here that interests you and you like. And if you do, just leave me a comment, and I'll get back with you. Um, like, share if you want to, subscribe. I don't push people on that, but if you want to, feel free. I am not sponsored. I do all this myself, my own money. Um, I do it because I love the stuff. It's just such good deals. Prices are going up. I think on my community feed, I put a shirt on there. It was almost like $20 or somewhere around there. Back in the day when I started this months ago of ordering, it probably would have been 5 to $7. And a lot of them still are. That was really high and weird. I don't, I don't know why they did that, just to see if people pay. But this is Dolly. It's cute. They've got Marilyn Monroe and all kinds of the older um, people. Um with that bubble gum look and they put dolly on it and i like the little leopard print around i thought it was cute so i got that it's kind of small but it'd be cute on t-shirt so there's that and i paid a dollar 19. hi honey she's 
content since she's right here in the chair like this. Oh, oh my gosh, I said that and she stood up. No. What baby? This one says, I binge watch campfires. Isn't that the truth? At night, I could just sit there all night long and watch them. I binge watch campfires. So I thought that was a pretty one. It's nice and kind of crinkled too, but I've had worse. But yeah, my oldest turning 29. Oh my gosh. I t keep telling them every year and they're not listening. Y'all can't have any more birthdays. The older you get, you're making me that much older. June 1st, I turned 47. It's like, where has time gone? Somebody please tell me that. Where has time gone? It just flies anymore. Oh my goodness. I have rambled a lot. Don't bother leaving comments that I talk too much. If I'm talking too much, just go ahead and jump off there. Because um, I am a talker. So, a lot of people like it. There's some that don't. I'm the one that when I watch videos, I like to hear people talking too. You learn about them a little bit. You know, their likes, dislikes, their lifestyle, their family. I don't know. It's makes you feel kind of more connected with them. Some people don't watch them for that reason. They just want to see the goods, see if there's anything they like. But I am a chatterbox, y'all. Sorry. Six forty-eight. I did get a price adjustment. I got my little crinkled moisture paper. No, mommy loves you. Here, I'll pull you over a little bit more. Is that better? See you a little bit closer. Hmm. Wanting down? Is he wanting down? Okay. We say hey. Say hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's enough of being a camera hold. There you go. <clears throat> this one's Freebird. 1973. I got it in a medium. It does feel nice. It's just made like the other ones. It kind of has a stronger smell for some reason, but it's not a fishy smell or anything. Nasty. 60 poly, 35 rayon, 5 spandex. That's my mix. I really just goofed on that one. I probably went back through, put stuff in my cart that I liked, and then went back through. And Because I know I took clothes out. And when I was going through them, there was ones that wasn't that three different material mix. And I would take it out of my cart, and somehow I overlooked that one. And found one that was, and got that one too. Goofball. Goofball. I got these in a large, it's so, this is a price adjustment. I got three price adjustments and I only paid $12.68. So after the three price adjustments, I don't know what it cost me. So a good deal, but I got a large in them. And I think I got these before and I liked them. But once I placed the order, I was like, crap, I forgot to go upstairs and see if last time I got a large or a medium because the large, their material on their stuff is usually has a stretch to it. This one's more, feels like jean, but I got another pair more like stretchy, but um, they were kind of too big in my waist. So only thing different, I wish they would do. I don't like itty bitty pockets, but it is what it is. I wish the pockets were a little bit, took up more of the room of the butt, but these are really cute. Um, that's the front. They do have some distressing and holes. And then there's your bottom. I love the bottoms. See how stretchy the waist? Okay, it wasn't the leg, it was the waist. Oh, it was almost baggy. But the length on these, um, I'm 4'11 and a half, and I've said that and I've kept it since like school. So I'm probably like 4'11 or something. I mean, yeah, I probably lost my half. This is just over my foot, like just laying on top of my shoes. So this is perfect, because then you know when you put them on, it's gonna draw up a little bit more. But yes, I love these jeans, you guys. They're really, really cute. They are a large. I can't remember if this is the one they said, people said, I think a large is an 810, extra large is a 12. But they said they fit um, almost true to size. 70% cotton, 20, three poly, five viscose, and two spandex. I don't even know what that V one is. And it's just got the one button. So, 
I do. I do like these. This is my second pair. My other ones upstairs might have been an extra large. I really don't remember. Um, $10.98. I got one price adjustment. Yes, you guys. Sweatshirt mint season is pretty much almost over, but I love sweatshirts. And then we camp all year long, pretty much, except the heart, you know, the coldest part of the winter. So the fall, I pull out all my sweatshirts, but I'm just stocking up. It'll probably be August and I'll have a sweatshirt in my cart. <laughs> Kid you not. I got a large. It's 100% poly, but I read the reviews on this one because I almost deleted it. But I was like, man, the other ones like this are higher. So I think they're like 12 or 13. I went ahead and started reading all the reviews and everybody said it, it was soft material. Didn't feel like polyester normally would. They just said it was really soft. It was a nice soft polyester. So I crossed my fingers and I went for it. And I'm glad I did because it feels really nice. Got a large. It's got the soft, fuzzy, fleecy stuff inside. It's not real thick, but this is more of some of them when you get these, they don't have that in there. They're more like just a glorified long t-shirt, but this actually feels like a nice thinner sweatshirt. Um, I love the size. It's, it's baggy. It covers my butt, but yeah, I just, it's so funny. Like I said, I don't drink beer, but I'm loving all the Coors and Budweiser stuff coming out. I don't know why. It says brewed, brewed with 100% Rocky Mountain water since 1873 here. I don't know if I was doing that too fast. It's got a cute little picture in there. Heck yeah. That's a comfortable one because it's oversized. I don't like sweatshirts to so just fit me. When I think of sweatshirt, I think of comfort and I want that sucker baggy and loose. I want to feel like I'm lounging in comfort when I'm wearing it. Okay. One for the car. One for the Jeep. Well, Maybe I'll give Davey one for his truck and then I'll put one in the Jeep. It's a two pack for $2.72 and I got a price adjustment. So I got two of these and it's, it holds your registration. It's got Velcro, but just put your registration there and whatever else you want here, your receipt, or you can just stick it in like you would your checks, part here and part there and fold it. I've had these before. I didn't get them from Timu, but I would just fold it here and then I, I don't know what else I had over there. Can't really remember but these are nice thick plastic i mean it'll bend if you make it bend and try really hard and then yeah it's just got your little round velcro so that's not bad less than three dollars for two so got lots um stop my mountain's getting higher my top my pile so now everything wants to slide here give me just a second you guys okay this right here $7.98 got a price adjustment I do have a Rolling Stone one I wore it yesterday but um it's got different colors on it and this was just more of a neutral and I love it I love the feel of it this has got to be my three three thing poly rayon spandex or whatever it's a large hello open says me what oh tags on the other side 60 poly 35 rayon spandex. rolling stones nice feels like a nice smooth t-shirt it's soft i love it so here's that it's i got the cream colored one and there's nothing on the back. But yeah, this is really nice. I love this one. Perfect. Perfect. I feel like there was something I wanted to say. I know there's people out there thinking, oh my God, no. But I wanted to say something earlier, talk about maybe something I'd gotten. And now I don't remember. I do that sometimes. I wanted to do something or talk about something. And then as soon as I hit stop and I'm starting to clean up, I'm like, Crap, that's what it was. Okay. If it's important, it'll come to me. $9.99, no price adjustment. And that stuff inside felt nice. Um, this is 
direct to transfer or is that how you say it? I can't remember. I want to sound smart like I know what I'm talking about and I don't. But anyway, this one's more, actually, this feels really perfect. Like you would just bought this out of a store. That's not too bad. It's a little plasticky, but it doesn't feel like this hard, weird plastic stuff. It's smooth. Um, this is nice. See, this right here doesn't have the thing. I can actually see my ring through it. But it's just got this, and this material is soft. But this is more like a, it's like a sweatshirt too, but it's like a long sleeve. All right. I don't know. Okay. doesn't have the stuff in there to make it a sweatshirt. None of the soft little fuzzy stuff. But I love this. Perfect size. It's big. Baggy. Just like I like it. Did you all hear that? Stood up. I can't do it again. Felt good though. As soon as I stood up on my toes, my ankles popped. I'm on those poppers. I know it's very bad. I pop my elbows all the time. I know it probably makes you quinge. People at work, stop popping your elbows, Mandy. It's not good for you. But um, I've done it since I've been in school. So now I'm to the point it's not good because my arms get stiff or they're, you know, I just feel like I can't open them all the way till I snap them. And then it's just like, oh, it feels so good. If you popped your fingers or knuckles, your toes, anything like that for years, your neck, that release, that feel good once you do it, that's exactly how my elbows feel when I do that. But I know it grosses some people out and I shouldn't do it. I said I'm gonna be one of these people later in life that my great grandbabies or whatever, I'm gonna be stuck like this because I can't bend my arms no more. I'm just gonna be like a built-in jungle gym playground for my grandkids. They can just climb all over me, but. Funny, not funny. I hope it's, it never gets like that. Um, this right here was $7.96 and I got a price adjustment. I got one of these mats for, I'm gonna move you a little bit. My KitchenAid over there, which way is my hand supposed to go? <laughs> my KitchenAid, and you can't see it. It fits perfectly with the alignment of my KitchenAid. And um, I'm wanting, I got one of these to go under my Keurig. Oh, I sized it right because there was a couple different sizes. You might be able to see this one more, but I got black, so it doesn't matter. Our candle, our candle top, our countertop is kind of like this black and brown marbly. Holy crap! Oh, what size did I get? I should have got a smaller size. This is a large. I don't know if that is small, medium, large, but I should have got a smaller size because my Keurig probably from my wall comes out this far. No. Oh, pew, 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 pew. Stinks too. But it's just like, I mean, it's good, good and durable mat. Well, it's not going to go to waste. I'll figure out something, even if this goes in my craft room somewhere. But it's got the nice grip back. It's a no slip. Shoot. Do you know how excited I was to get this and put my coffee pot on it? Because when I scoot it, it, it sometimes bump, 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 bumps across my counter because the grip feet underneath it. And this right here, I was hoping was going to make it like my... KitchenAid, it just slides now. So, but yeah, can't use it. Too big. I am wearing my shirt that I got um, at TJ Maxx. It's my Mario Kart one. I love Mario. My inner child will always love Mario and play Mario games. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Can't use that. Dang it. Okay, there's another color of these I have to get. And it's like a real soft rose pinkish color. These I got the hot pink now, but I got these and I love this. These are wonderful camping, just going outside, 
whatever, but I do. I've got like two or three pairs in my camper, and I don't know how many colors I got upstairs. I don't have any duplicate colors, but do you guys remember when these used to be like $1.78 or two something, and now we're paying $5.59 depending on the color? Um, black is usually your cheapest, and some of them go to $7 and $8. I think that rose one, I keep waiting it out. Um, whoa. But it's like seven something every time I see it. I'm like, I can't get myself to do it when I've paid two and three dollars for these things. This was high, five fifty nine. But I love pink and it's hot pink. I got these in a thirty six, thirty seven, and I think it's like the six point five to seven size because they. I'm a seven and a half, but they do kind of fit big. At least in my opinion, they do. These are the real thick, cushy ones. I've gotten one pair that was thinner before, and walking out camping, no. Um, pavement, yes. Rocks, no. You feel every rock. So it was okay just for the house. But these are really nice and comfortable, you guys. I want to get a pair for my mom. God love you, mom. But my mom can trip over her own feet. <laughs> I'm so scared with the thickness that they have. And they're like a flip-flop that she'll trip out in the yard. And then I'll, I'm, I'll find out if she falls or something. Scott will tell me. And then I'll feel guilty and feel bad that she fell on the shoes that I got her. But they're so comfortable, and I, I want her to have a pair because of that, but I'm afraid she'll, she'll trip and fall and hurt herself. And she's always outside doing stuff, picking up sticks, whatever. She's always outside. And I don't... Sorry, Mom. I just... And she's got little tiny feet. My mom buys her shoes in the kids' section, which saves you money, but I don't know where she got them little feet from. She can wear a four-and-a-half... I think, Mom, if I'm wrong, you can even put it in the comments. You can comment on my videos. Um, four and a half or a five and kids. <laughs> um, yeah. She got little feet. Okay, these are my last three things, you guys. And I'm missing two things. And I'm going to open this because this isn't on any of my orders. I got a snuffer. A candle snuffer. I've had this in and out of my cart too. And I did not look at the measurements. I thought this was bigger. Normally I read all that stuff, but I didn't. Um, I paid $2.53 and got a price adjustment, but it is metal. You can hear it clank. So it's metal, it's just a snuffer. It does move, but it's like a, it's not round, it's square. It's got this little odd square shape, rectangle shape. But yeah, got me that. I have that warmer, but I still enjoy doing my candles because I love a flame. This right here. Oh, I wonder if this is something. Oh, I can mark this off my list. Um, I got my makeup. I just didn't get my dice. My dice might have fell out of the hole that this thing was punched out of. Um, there's holes down here in the corner like this. And I might have already cut where this was poked through. But yay, it's Candy Bella. That's what Hey Everybody, Erin on Hey Everybody, puts on her skin. And it, I like to see things like work. And she will take the time. If a nail pops off, she'll put her nail back on. When she gets that red or glowy, um, that's my makeup. It's all shiny. Gosh. Uh, I had to just change my shirt and started my haul. So, excuse the way I look, you guys. But, um, yeah, if her skin does that shiny, oily thing, she puts this on there, and you it's like magic. You watch it on the screen, just the shininess is all gone. The redness is all gone. I'm like, heck, yeah. And I want, I want to get it, and I forgot to put it in my cart a million times. And I watched her the other day. I'm kind of behind on my videos again, but I watched her use this the other day, and I was like, I jumped. I was on my pad. I went straight to my phone, and I put the little thing in my cart, but doesn't stink. I mean, doesn't smell like perfume or nothing. Um, it is creamy. It's got a creamy feel to it. It's got this. It's got a little mirror, which is cute. It says Candy Bella. Wow, I got a, it did come in this. I guess I just tore into it, I was so excited. That's what the package looks like. 
Oh my gosh, this ring light. It says Candy Bella. It's just silver. It's a simple but cute packaging. I like how they write Candy Bella. Oh my gosh, you can't see Squatch, y'all. Hmm. Everybody says, well, it's your face. Get your face out of it more and things will focus. Well, this time it's not. And this says, I'm pineapple. I don't know. It's just a little sponge. But it's what comes with it. It fits two, maybe three fingers in there. It's real spongy. And then you just put it on here, just for shits and giggles. Let's see if I can see the magic on my own screen like I do hers. I'm just like so, Let's see if they'll take this. See how shiny? Oh, yeah. Shut the front door. Nuh-uh. Oh my gosh, I'm shiny up here because I didn't put any there. I'm gonna have my whole face done just because I wanna see it work. Shut up. Oh my gosh, thank you, Aaron. For, heck, I got shiny down here. Oh, I'm putting another one of these in my cart. For backup that's the bomb heck yeah i love to see stuff work i mean i've watched it on her and i'm like stuff is so good now i got my own and it works love it i love it this is that my mange mange menage i don't know how you say that but it's the professional foundation brush 88 cents, and I got two price adjustments. This ended up being like 60-some cents. But it's got a cute little packaging, little box here. The rose. It's just one. Ooh, it's so soft. It's the flat one. Cover my face. I got white. They have different colors. I actually think white was the cheapest. Rose gold right there, but it's just like a foundation brush. So I got bought. Okay. What the heck? And this part doesn't even have a cap on it because it was sticking out. Honestly, I didn't pay attention, but the part that was sticking out of my bag is probably the part that lost it, and the one that has the cap was probably still secure inside the bag. Lord, don't let this be anything bad. I mean, I didn't order this. This wasn't in my cart, but it's a it's a good canvas. All their stuff is canvas. What it says is really nice, and it's a beautiful picture. You and me, us, never apart. But this is not mine, you guys. I it's beautiful. Look at it. Oh man, it's, it's, it wants to fold in before I can. But yeah. That's what it is. Beautiful flowers in the field of flowers. So the colors and everything are really nice. But it wasn't mine. You and me. So somebody is getting my hello drinking game dice. And I got somebody's canvas picture. So. I don't know. I'm going to get with them and let them know that this was in there and it, it wasn't mine. I don't even know the cost of it because how do you return something that's not even on your list? See, I've never done this. So will they have an option? Didn't order? Are they going to have me send this like me pay to send this back when I didn't order it? I'm not going to get a credit, obviously, because I didn't pay, but... I don't know. I'll be going on there and seeing how that works. But somebody out there ordered this and didn't get it. So that's a bummer on them. And I'm going to let them know I didn't get my dice. So they'll probably give me a refund. And I'll just have to reorder them. And hopefully they didn't go up. So, you guys, that's all I got. Bag is empty. So I'm all done. And thank you again for watching. I hope everybody had a great day at work. We had a three-day weekend because the eclipse, so I had Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. We now have 33 days of school left. The 24th is our last day, May 24th. Um, so, yeah.
school year is going fast. Um, all right, everybody have a wonderful evening and we'll talk to you guys later. I do have more coming, so I just don't know when it'll be here. Um, okay, everybody have a great night and until next time, take care, bye.